earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. There is a designed husband for a woman. There's a designed wife for a man. People may feel, some people have asked, and said, do you want to really say that there's one particular uh, lady for one man, one particular blah, blah, for one man? I said, the prayer you need, or what you need is accuracy. And that I pray that God will help you to be accurate. So after you have found your God-designed husband and wife, it does not mean that you are ready to now just be perfect. But it means if that man do what he should do, and the wife does what she should do, ah, the devil is in trouble. Because you will form such a bundle of force for God on the earth that that home becomes a citadel of God's glory, becomes an arena of divine doings that God can use to help a lot of people in any field that they find themselves. So in this book, one of the key things that Daddy highlighted in the, under the law of purpose is that marriage is not just for procreation. There have been people that married and didn't have children. but none will be barren in our midst in Jesus' name. There have been people that married and something happened along the line. They couldn't have sex anymore. So marriage is more than sex. Although most men marry because of sex. They conducted an interview to move around some men and they say, well, I said that's the only way you could be having sex without feeling guilty. That was his purpose for getting married. They asked another person, he said, I thought of that it would be necessary for me to carry on my father's name. So they born me, I must born somebody. So if he doesn't have any son now, and his wife is having daughters, he will be tempted to go for polygamy. One said he was tired of doing the household chores by himself. Come back, no food, we have to be cooking in the night, washing plates and all those stuff. So he married a slave. Those are the kind of husbands that encourage their wives not to walk. And say, stay at home. These babies are too young. You are selfish. I'm not saying that. I didn't stand here as a woman. I'm standing here with all sense of accountability to heaven. To speak what God wants me to say. Anybody, whether male or female, when you are not working, you begin, even your mindset will begin to reduce. And be, in five years, they won't, they won't know you went to school. When, if they tell us that you have MBA from OAU, they will, they, will, they will swear that it's not true. Because you'll be looking as if five years if it's even too much. I see some sisters, the church just got married last year, graduated and came back from youth service just this last year. And got married. I have just one baby. And when I saw her coming, I thought it was the woman that said Pepe for us at Tori Sumbari. I can't believe it. I, I said, What happened to you? You have not you staying at home around pots. <laughs> I, I don't believe that somebody should not work, be working. You stay at home. I'm, she will be. What you think will happen? Some people have. Um, uh, some people are. I don't know. People know some sort of fears. These children are still young, so stay at home with them. There is a way, there is a wisdom of God with which we handle family and our domestic affairs. I don't say you should become careless and put down a, 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 a six weeks old baby and go for a three years course. I'm not talking of some of those careless. And before you come back, they will have loaded your baby up with something that you'll be fighting with the rest of your life. So I'm not talking of some of those stuff. But just say your wife should not work, stay at home and things like that. She will not, the one she should contribute to your life, the development that should harness her. You know, the teaching that they took in the morning. Work is part of the things that harnesses or that brings out our potential. It won't be there. And then she gets frustrated. I know many women that are cursing their husband inside. You understand what I'm saying? And she becomes a witch. Because when you nurse bitterness, offense, so much for years is attractive to the devil. You know, the, the, the works of the flesh attracts the devil. 
I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.